Hey guys, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We're going to take a look at the die assault matrix, the DAM. Open the box, show you what comes with it, and just point out a couple of the features of the gun. So the, the case is a nice, sturdy, hard case. Lots of foam, lots of protection. Uh, zippered all the way around. On the top section is your two-piece, 14-inch ultralight barrel, anodized to match the color of your gun. Right here. You've got two magazines. And then we've got a uh, barrel sleeve, accessory parts, manual, and warranty card in the top section. If I flip it over, lower section, we've got our gun our feed neck adapter, and our stock. Let's go ahead and get all of this stuff out of the way. So we can focus on the parts here. So we've got gun and stock, feed neck adapter, magazine, barrel. All right, so let's talk about the magazine first. Uh, the magazine will hold both first strike and standard paintballs in it. Don't recommend loading multiple or different styles in the same chamber, but you could do one side in 68 caliber and one side in first strike. Uh, magazine does have a feature of the, where there is a, a cap or cover so that when you have loaded all your rounds into one side, you can slide the cap over and it will protect uh, your paint or rounds, whatever is inside there, from debris getting inside while you're carrying these on your back. As soon as you go to put the magazine in the gun, it automatically will retract the cover and start feeding the rounds up into the gun. It's a great feature. Uh, and you can obviously put one side in, shoot one side out, flip it over, put it in, shoot the other side out. So it's a dual stack system. Uh, for the gun, we've got, focusing on the front section here, we've got a modular shroud system on the front. Uh, lets you change how you like your gun to look. So let's say you don't want the whole shroud system, you only want half. You can remove this front half, put the cap on the front, and now you've got a shorter gun. You want to take the whole thing off, you can take the whole thing off of there. Uh, you cannot use the foregrip here if you have this section of the rail system off. It does need something to mount onto. So if you like this angled foregrip, you do need to have this section on here. But you can change it around any way you want. It's got the Picatinny rails on it, so if you want to add stuff, mount things to it, GoPros, lasers, flashlights, whatever, you can put them on here. Uh, barrel, like I said, two-piece barrel is going to go in here. So we're going to go ahead and just slide that down in. It's going to go in there. Now you can see how far it sticks out with the two pieces. Obviously, if you took the pieces off, it would look different. One recommendation I can give you is if you are going to use a two-piece barrel in this, uh, make sure that you don't over-tighten it into the gun. Because when it comes time to take the barrel out, if you have over tightened it, there's a good chance the pieces will separate and you'll just unscrew the tip out of the back, leaving the back still inside there. Then the only way to get to that would be to take your shroud out to get to the, uh, the back of your barrel. Just time consuming, definitely steps you don't need to take. Uh, let's look at magazine release right here. I'm going to pop this out. This piece that comes with the gun is not a magazine. Okay, this is just a extra storage section for some O-rings and tools. Be very careful when you open it up so that pieces don't go flying everywhere. Okay, so we've got a set of Allen keys in here, a battery, assorted O-rings, ID tents, some extra screws. If you just open it up really quick, everything's gonna shoot out all over the place. But again, this is not a paintball holding thing. It's just, just for accessories. All right, this section here, at the top, this is where our plate is for our, uh, our loader. Uh, if we don't want to use a hopper or loader on this gun, you have the plate on, you're only gonna feed up through the bottom. If you wanna be able to feed both at the same time, you can take this plate off and put this feed neck adapter on the gun. It'll sit up right here. And this is gonna give you the option to run both magazine and hopper fed rounds at the same time. And the way that is achieved is through this slider on the top right here, okay? When it's in the back position right like this, it's feeding through the hopper at the top. So you'd be feeding a 68 caliber round through the top. If you slide it forward right here, now we've switched to the magazine fed system. So whether you've got 68 caliber or first strike down there, you can shoot through there. And this can be done on the fly. You don't need to pull anything apart to do it. So 
You can shoot normal rounds. If you see somebody off in the distance, you want to shoot a first strike round, all you need to do is just switch over and shoot from the bottom. All of our options are done through here. We've got a power button, mode selector, and uh, eye functions. Standard gas through grip with our air port on and off down here. Backside, this black cap right here that you see on the side has one screw that sits in through the top. If we back this screw up, this cap will slide off. And then we could attach our stock right in there. The stock does come with a, uh, a set screw in it already. So when we would slide this onto the gun, all we would need to do is tighten this screw down right here and the stock would be attached to the gun. And it's just as easy to take it off. Undo the screw, slide the stock off, put the cap back on, and you're ready to run it without a stock. The stock does have a storage compartment, as well as a multi-position stops on it. So you've got plenty of options on how you want to set your stock up on there. Now the bolt does still have the quick release feature like the, uh, all the matrixes do. So we can pull this out and we can undo it by hand. See if I can get it off of there by hand. You can also use an Allen key to take it off. But let's just say you didn't have an Allen key and you needed to access your bolt. You could do it this way. So we'll pull the bolt out. So got the fuse bolt system in it. Um, but since it's a gas through with all this stuff on it, there really is nowhere to put a regulator. So what they had to do was they incorporated the regulator into the backside of the bolt. So this is your regulator right here. It's controlled by putting in a smaller Allen key through here and adjusting your regulator through the back. And then your bolt is in the front. And stick this back in here. Now this gun does come in different colors. We've got our, our earth color here, or the tan. We've got an olive, a black, and the die cam version. Uh, we've taken a brief look at the DAM, the die assault matrix. Order yours now at ansgear.com.